Hi, this is Vicki Robinson of Vicki Robinson Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to load brushes into Photoshop Elements temporarily, and then I'll show you how to install them into Elements so they're available to you anytime you need them. I'll be using Photoshop Elements 2020 today, however, these same steps will work in all versions of Elements. To load my brushes, I'm going to click on B on my keyboard. That will activate my brush tool, and you'll see at the lower part of your screen, or in earlier versions, the, the options may be at the top of your screen. But uh, you'll see that the options have brush options have um, opened up, and then we're going to click on the little down arrow just to the right of whatever brush you currently have loaded. Come up to the little hamburger menu up here in the right hand corner, it's the one with the little tiny lines on it, and then we're going to click on load brushes. In the next dialog box, you're going to want to navigate to wherever you have that uh, unzipped ABR file, Photoshop Elements and Photoshop Brush Files all end in the .abr. When you navigate to that and find it, you're going to click on that once and say open. Once you've done that, you'll notice that the brushes have been loaded at the bottom of whatever brush set you were in originally. Now, this is just temporarily installing the brushes into Photoshop Elements, and when I mean temporary, let me show you that if I click onto another brush set and then come back to my default brushes, they're no longer there. So a pro tip for you is when you load the brushes, don't load them until you're ready to use them and make sure that you don't change brush sets while you're playing with the brush set that you actually loaded because once you've changed, those brushes will disappear. So that's um, the first way to temporarily load brushes into Photoshop Elements. The second way is to use the Preset Manager in Elements. And there are two different ways you can get to the Preset Manager, uh, but they're both lead you to the same place. Back again on your brush tool, this little hamburger menu, you can say Preset Manager. And you see that this is showing you that you're in preset type brushes. So that's one way to get there. Let me just show you, close this, and show you. you can also get to the preset manager by coming up to the edit menu and choosing preset manager. And here we are back at the same screen. So to load, temporarily load brushes this way, you have two options. You can either append your brushes or you can add them. Appending them adds them to whatever set is currently loaded and add replaces them completely. So let's just go ahead and let's just add this set. And once again, you're going to need to navigate to where your ABR file is and then select it and say open. And you'll see now that the brushes that we've loaded have replaced the brushes that were there previously. We can say done. And now when I activate the brush tool by clicking B on my tool, uh, my keyboard and coming back you can see that it says here here's all the brushes that I have but once again this is just temporarily loading these brushes into elements so if I were to switch brush set and then come back you'll see that there is no brush set here that uh, was named with the file name that I just installed uh, or uploaded and if we come back to default brushes which is where they were before you can see that they're not there so that's two different ways to temporarily load brushes into Photoshop elements now the next way I'm going to show you is how to install them so that they are available to you at other times so that you can switch brush sets freely I'm going to do that I'm going to come out of editor I'm going to quit Photoshop elements and now I'm going to navigate to my file system. Now I'm on a Mac, not a Windows computer, so I can't show you how to navigate to um, what we're going to do now. I do have a graphic for you though. You're going to want to go to your program files, look for the Adobe folder, and then whichever version of Photoshop Elements you're using, and this one is 2019, look for the presets folder and then look through the brushes. The next short bit of this video, I'm going to uh, navigate for Mac users, and at the end of, uh, in the blog post, I will link you up to Karen Schultz's uh, Snickerdoodle Designs video on uh, doing this on a Windows computer, but just bear with me for a minute while I show you this bit of it on a Mac. So, as I said, we're going to uh, 
find our Adobe Presets folder on a Mac and you're going to open up your finder and then you want to come down to where it says your name, whatever your name is or whatever you named your computer when you installed your Mac. You're going to click on that and then you're going to come to Macintosh hard drive and then you're going to come into applications and then a list of all the applications that are installed on your computer will open up. You can see I have various versions of Photoshop Elements here. Look for whichever version you're using. I'm using 2020. And when you open that up, you're going to look for your Presets folder. And then you're going to look for your Brushes folder. And this is where we're going to be adding that ABR file so that we can install it into Elements. I've got mine right here on my desktop here on the right. So I'm going to right mouse click on it and say uh, copy. Now I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on this Brushes folder right here. Then I'm going to right mouse click and say paste item. And when you do that, you'll see that now you see V. Robinson, or in this case for my brushes, you'll see the brush, the name of the brush file that you're working on um, is here in the list. So what we've done is we have installed these brushes into Photoshop Elements. And so whether you're doing this on a Mac or a PC, this is actually the install process. Remember that you need to have had Photoshop Elements closed in order to do this step. So now if I open up Photoshop Elements, in the editor. Wait for this to load real quick. Now if I press the B on my keyboard and come to my brushes here and look at the list of brushes, you see that the brush set that I loaded is here. So I can activate it and use it and then switch brushes as I'd like, but this brush is that brush set will always be here in the list because I installed it as opposed to temporarily loading it. Now one caution here, a word of caution, the more brush sets you load, install this way by adding them into that preset folder, the slower your computer is going to get, the slower Photoshop Elements is going to work. So I always recommend just using, maybe loading two or three of your most used brush sets into the preset folder as I just showed you. Um, otherwise it's going to bog down your uh, computer and your the way that Photoshop Elements works and you're going to hate it. It will take forever to load. So just a couple of your most favorite, most often used uh, brushes is really a good idea. So there you have it. There's how you install Photoshop brushes so that you have them always available and two other ways to temporarily load them into Elements. Thanks for watching.